Yo! What's up, everyone? It's been a long time, but Lab Coat is finally here. Welcome to the official, the only Lab Coat 21 guide you will ever need. <clears throat> Those of you who don't know, I did a very in depth uh, 21 guide way back in 2020. Uh, it got a ton of response. People seem to really like it. So I figured it's only natural that I decide to do one for the new 21 that comes on. She has quite a lot of stuff, so I'm very excited to share her with you. But before we get into the video, I wanna remind you guys to hit the subscribe button, you know, give this video a like, comment what you think about it. Uh, all that stuff helps against the algorithm on YouTube. Uh, and so that more people can see this video, more people are going to want to see this video. Trust me, this is like the, this is some good stuff that you, I'm going to be giving you guys. So, <clears throat> lab coat, where do we begin? Let's begin with the normals, of course. That's how we usually start. Now, I'm not going to sit and go over every single individual small minute detail of, of the normals just because of course you guys tuned into battle hour you saw her you know saw them showcase some of the stuff that she already has uh and so i will keep it brief because i don't think that this needs to be extremely long-winded so to start off most of the things that she has on block are minus four that's already a huge deal before we even get any get into anything right minus four not minus five but minus four so that includes or 5L, uh, you know, of course, if she's computer is not mashing 2H, it'd be like that, right? Minus four, minus four, minus four. Is still on don't switch? Okay, I was like, why did not work? Minus four, right? So, ton of stuff that's minus four. This is important. Uh, this is important because minus four is quite good, especially on, on mediums. Uh, whenever you start doing your heavies, that's where stuff starts getting more minus, but that's natural with characters. And so minus four, uh, relatively safe on normal. She doesn't have like crazy, crazy safe buttons. Like she doesn't have any buttons that are like minus two or anything like that, uh, on, you know, like there is on the original 21, but she also doesn't have, you know, stuff that's like minus, uh, you know, lights and mediums that are like minus six, minus seven, uh, you know, minus 10, like how that's the S Broly players out there uh you know it'd be like that but so most of her stuff is pretty safe in terms of normals her 5m and her 2m are both two hits the 5m being 10 frames and the 2m being uh eight frames uh double hitting low so this is very akin to frieza except it's actually two frames faster than frieza it is minus four whereas frieza's is minus two but uh you know eight frame startup double hitting low that is minus four very very good of course however you do want to be careful because since she has no uh she, she has no mid uh she has no mid lights <clears throat> and so like her 5l right of course hits low and her 2l hits low right so she has a lot of lows and while that is pretty good for uh for mix-up purposes and everything you want to be very careful about characters that have low crush properties so your 5lls from your uis your vegito 2ls right uh, she is very prone to being low crushed because she does not have a mid L starter, right? Both of her uh, light, both of her light buttons are lows, and so if you like do an assist and you try to run up and try to string, and there is a gap there, then sometimes you can be low crushed on, and so that's just something you want to keep in mind. But uh, sick multi hitting 5M and 2M, of course that means their block strings are gonna last a very long time, which means it gives you more time for your assist to come back, and also. On top of that, it has some very, very sick block string applications that we'll get into uh, in one of the later videos. But right now, we're just keeping it to the normals and the specials. So those are the M's. Let's talk about her H's. Her 5H is a pretty standard, uh, you know, just lunging forward. 5H goes a pretty good distance, pretty good for anti-reflect purposes as well. So like 2L, 5H um, on an anti-reflect is going to work out most of the time. It is, of course, minus nine on block. So if you do this on block, you want to make sure that you cancel into something um, and to keep yourself safe. So very important. Next. 6H, command overhead. It's very, very similar to Kefla. Um, it is 27 frame startup, as you can see, minus five on block. Now that's different from Kefla. Kefla does her overhead, her 6H, and she's actually punishable on block. But 21 is not. And so like, this is very, very, uh, very, very safe 
to, to throw out uh it, especially you know if you're just trying to make your opponent and still be safe afterwards you can gatling into 5h afterwards uh and that's how you would normally get your combos off of it so it does have solo combo ability and everything so this is a super super good option to have especially for a character that has so many lows you're gonna make your your opponent think that they're looking for the low all the time because she has six lows um and so like they're gonna get clocked by this and take a ton of damage and they're gonna be really tight so keep that keep that in mind that it's 6h 3h another low slide mm -mm, 18 frames from point blank uh, of course hits low so you can add this into your anti reflex streams as i was talking about before if you want to do 2l 3h uh you can i think that 5h might be a little safer uh because it cannot be low crushed uh like this one can but uh it, it gives you multiple options for anti reflect as well because you can go from like 3h into 5h right and that is a true string <clears throat> and so like you don't have to you don't have to worry about like so you can you can force situations where people have to you know double or triple reflect because she has multiple anti-reflect buttons with 5h and 3h and so that's just very very sick option for her to have on top of the specials that she has like an anti-reflect so next thing 5s right she has key blast beautiful right if they block all of them full screen she's plus nine she has up to five key blasts and this is really really important for a character like this because she has frame one air and vulnerability in the form of her 2 and 4 h and so if you catch someone trying to super dash at you smoke them right uh i can set the computer to bc super dash here oh i think i said it's a sparking by accident that's what's up there we go right and they take a ton of damage from this so Five key blasts, you can, you know, stagger them just like you normally would. You can shoot one, you can shoot two, you can do whatever you want pretty much. Just make sure that whenever you're doing it, you're looking out for that dreaded super dash because you know people are going to want to skip neutral. They're going to want to get it on you. Um, and so you got to have that, got to have that answer on deck, whether it's 2H, whether it's 2 and 4 h She has the answers, right? She has the answers and that's what's really important. Uh, hey guys, before <laughs> before I go on, I, I almost forgot to talk about her auto combo. Um, her auto combo is uh, this. The second hit is minus four, right? Um, nine frame startup. The third one is a grab, and so you can go for like tick grab setups and stuff like that if you really want to. Um, that is an option that you have available to you. So I just wanted to talk about that uh, real quick. And yeah, we'll move right. Uh, before I go on, I do want to remind you guys about JS because I missed it before um it is pretty standard it's very vegeta style um the main thing is that you only have four in the air instead of uh instead of five so be careful because you have less key blast than you think but like i said this is very useful for canceling into the anti-airs and whatnot but i just wanted to throw that in there real quick all right back to the back to the other Kalua. okay that's pretty much it for our grounded buttons let's talk about our air buttons jl uh it is six frames it's pretty all right uh the unfortunately it doesn't work as like a fast cross up so like a teen gohan or like a frieza uh can uh, can like cross up crouching opponents very very quickly right she has an issue where it does not make contact and so you don't want to be using this for those purposes but it is pretty solid it's an air to air button um you know it's very fast uh can gatling all that good stuff you know spammable you just press this shit. so pretty standard jl uh hitbox is pretty high up on her body um so you know uh but it, it's not as high up on her body as like uh the regular 20, like the other 21 right it's not as high up as this so it doesn't have the dreaded dead zone issue uh so most of the time if you're gonna try to try to air to air people you're gonna have the problem where they're like they get underneath it and it misses so it's very good in that regard okay next jm another multi-hitting move they just really wanted to give her all the multi-hits in a world um eight frames very very similar to bardock a little bit less horizontal range uh on on the jm than like a bardock uh but is still really really strong uh of course builds a good amount of meter in her combos and whatnot gives you time to really think about what routes you're going to be doing a double overhead uh as well on on standing opponents uh unfortunately as i talked about before with jl not the best cross-up button <laughs> um if you're seven dashing uh i.e jumping back and then iding at certain ranges i think you can get this to land but only if it's late like that um but not really the best uh for for that type of mix up but the next button that we're going to be talking about is what you want to go to in terms of a cross up sir so jl and her jm are not super great 
on cross-ups for her jh has a massive horizontal range look at this button this button is huge especially it has a huge hitbox in front of her and so you can use it to cross up your opponents uh just similar to how you would use like a jm on uh on standard 21 right cross up jh uh, if you get that hit you can continue the combo with uh pretty much anything honestly uh i don't think that 2m will reach from here mm -mm, i'm definitely looking up right now yeah it doesn't doesn't reach from there so you're gonna want to probably like dash 5l um or maybe even 2l because 2l has really really long uh or 2l has really big uh horizontal range right it's it, this is very similar to um to the other 21 right it has huge horizontal range but it is less safe on block but for confirmation purposes you know on long range cross-ups and whatnot this is going to be really really good button to follow up uh the jh which is like i said going to be your standard cross-up button mm -mm. and so uh yeah also a decent button to throw out in neutral like if, if, you know if you're falling and you think your opponent's going to run in puts out a big hitbox in front of her um and also gives a standard you know skd knockdown in her combos so very very standard stuff and then next we want to talk about j2h so her j2h is similar to cell where it does not cause the standard um smash state it causes a wall bounce instead of uh a vertical smash and so uh you can't use it to you can't use it to uh, whenever you do combos with j2h uh it does not spend your upward smash and so when you press uh when you press a jh you're not going to get a knockdown so Right, so on a normal character, that would be a smash knockdown. But since it wall bounces, you don't get a smash knockdown. And so, what you're gonna want to do is rely on uh, J2 and 4M to knock down in your combos if you start with J2H. It also has use in like our sparking combos and whatnot. Uh, it's it's actually super useful because at the end of long combos, <clears throat> you can. Um, whoops, my bad. You can go into it in an airstream. And as far as I know, as far as I've been testing with the character, uh, J2H into 214M, uh, uh, into J214M, almost always works. I have not had a situation where I've, uh, I've linked the JH, or the J2H, and the 214M has not connected afterwards. So it's a very reliable uh, setup for her combo enders as well. So... Uh, those are some of her normals. Like I said, I want to keep it brief on you guys. So we'll move on to the specials. Let's talk about the specials because that's where that's where the character starts getting kind of crazy. The normals are good, but the specials are what really make the character Lab Coat 21. So let's start off with her 236X series. That is this little spin here, right? So she has three versions, of course. The L version, 13 frames, point blank. The medium 17 frames and the ex is 13 frames as well and gives you a full combo uh, i will show you guys real quick now very important you'll notice that this move is invulnerable to key blasts as you can see on the screen so if you see someone key blasting you your z brolies you know anyone like that trying to try to do that you can kind of use this as a neutral skip because it goes through key blasts um <clears throat> and yeah so it's very very strong very fast as well uh for a full screen move L version on hit um can combo with an assist if you really want to uh just blows back m gives a wall bounce uh so you can this is the this is the easier one to follow up with an assist if you have a full screen assist like a beam or like a pseudo beam you can do you know two and four or two three six m and then follow it up with an assist run up you know continue the combo the h version full combo solo run up get your combo after you land this move Right, you can do whatever you want after that, and then look at the scaling on this. Absolute crazy nuke potential. Simple combo. Look how much damage they take on that starter. Absolutely insane move, especially for a 13 frame key blast invulnerable move in the corner. If you do, uh, if you do a grounded, you know, grounded starter into two three uh, two three six M, you can continue it in the corner solo. But if you're mid screen, you're gonna want to use an assist. Uh, to get to you or vanish if you really want to completely up to you but yeah very very strong lariat style moves great combo ability great damage uh just a great move overall very similar to like gogeta um <clears throat> to gogeta red except her ex 
actually, as you can see, hits full screen, right? Actually, it makes contact from full screen. Gogeta's does not, and so that's something she has over him, uh, even though they're both very similar moves. They both give full combos. They're both key blast and vulnerable. Uh, this does not go through beams, by the way. It's just key blast. Um, and in return, you actually get full screen, which is pretty crazy. The trade-off is definitely there. <laughs> pretty, pretty crazy stuff. Next, the 214X series. Now, it's very confusing because these two moves look very similar, right? Because they both involve her spinning and, and a blade. So 214 is the one where she like has the downward slash at the end. That's the way to, to really distinguish the two. Uh, and this move is more akin to a DP. Uh, now, none of them are fully invulnerable, right? But they are... Um, they are both Key Blast invulnerable, right? And Air invulnerable. So they all are anti-airs as well as Key Blast invulnerable. Uh, as you can see on the screen, right? Jump attacks and Key Blast. You can see that it says both. Now, the L and the M version are not frame one, but the H version is frame one air invulnerable so this is the go-to move for your air to air situations if you catch someone trying to super dash through your key blast and whatnot right your js your 5s this move is absolutely crazy and on top of that gives a full combo <laughs> it gives a full combo afterwards to follow up with their stomp for a full combo anything like that follow up with you know stomp plus assist insane move absolutely incredible move as an anti-air this is like one of the craziest moves in the game for sure as you can see it's really fast startup as well 10 frames point blank i think it can actually be nine frames uh at certain points yeah the l version is nine frames the m version 14 frames and then the h version yeah there it is nine frames just sometimes um <laughs> from from uh not completely point blank it'll it'll be 10 frames instead of nine frames but it's fine and also on top of that these hitboxes go behind her right so these spin hitboxes that you guys are seeing the hitboxes actually exist all the way around her body and so if someone is trying to do something like guard cancel vanish uh or something like that right so i will set the computer to gc vanish here whoops or cancel vanish, right? Uh, that is definitely the wrong loop. Right? They auto-correct. So you can see she turns back in the original direction. And so you don't have to worry about your character turning around or anything. You just press it in the original direction that you're facing. And you still get the same full combo that you would otherwise. Uh, actually, I think with the behind one, it might be a little bit harder. Right, you can't, you can't actually guard cancel this move itself either, right? That's really important. Uh, is that if you try to guard cancel the move itself, uh, I think the M version and the H version, yeah, the M version and the H version, if you try to guard cancel this, nope, combo. So, very, very strong, right? And then you can follow up with a combo, like I said there insane cannot guard cancel this move and so your opponent has to actually look to see which which uh which move that you actually did to guard cancel which makes it very very strong uh in strengths <clears throat> and it's also minus four on block as you can see right and so calling calling your assist into a string not very hard at all um you can call it pretty late but still get a full string i can put it on guard first only here Right, that's a true string plus 23, and so that will set up for your mix-ups pretty well. Pretty well. So, pretty insane move. I think that this is our best move, 2 and 4 H. Um, uh, you know, non-super move at least, and it is one of the best moves in the game, easily. Uh, it it is a, you know, completely invulnerable air move that beats Key Blast, gives full combo on hit. It is absolutely crazy and she has the ability to use it both in the ground in the in the air and it anti-guard cancels oh my god man what a move i don't know why they gave her this much stuff but hey man we're here for it fuck it <laughs> it'd be like that all right so moving on stomps let's talk about the stomps her 2-2 two -two series right 11 frames low these are all lows by the way minus five on the l version <laughs> minus five on the M version and a minus five on the H version. Eleven frame lows. This this makes her strings 
terrifying because you might think that she's gonna mix you up by doing 6h but instead what if it stopped and you stood up to block you get you get comboed for this insane it also has the property of otging as well and these moves actually have set hit stun ladies and gentlemen what does that mean that means no matter where you use it in a combo it always has the same amount of time to follow up with a combo it does not factor in hit stun decay it has set hit stun and so <clears throat> no matter where you get no no matter uh no matter where you use it in a combo whether it's the end of a long combo or a short combo as long as the stop lands you'll always be able to do the same follow-ups which makes it very very consistent which means you'll never have situations where you stop someone and because it's a long combo you're super nervous like, or anything like that right and that that is where you're really going to use it um it, it it follows up after a lot of her moves uh even like our, our, if you look at our standard combo here even just a like standard knockdown combo, right? The L stomp, uh, the L stomp connects there. And you can see I'm plus 23 there, which is the same plus 23 that I am for using it, you know, unskilled. The same exact, so that it's same hit stun, no matter no matter how long the combo is or anything, insane move. The L version, uh, you can follow up with an assist. The M version, you can follow up yourself. Or actually, I think you, you need, you can follow up yourself in the corner like this right mm -mm. and then the h version gives you a nice pop-up combo anywhere on the screen you have time to side switch on this as well Get to the other side i want to be over here now right insane absolutely insane move as well uh the fact that it's set hit stun is the craziest thing in the world uh to me about this move it is an otg move so you're gonna get the sickest combo extensions ever because it doesn't matter how long the combo is you can always do stomp into the same things um and yeah so it can also be used it's also really good for after grounded uh dr ender as well you can always get the stomp into super uh and stuff like that so just extra damage for no reason no effort at all sick move and also safe on block in case it doesn't <laughs> in case it doesn't hit it's safe on block anyway they're all minus five insane right crazy 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 stuff all right, next, talk about 2-2-S. He pose on him, right? The standard barrier, it's very, very, very similar to, um, to 18's barrier. In fact, I think it might be coded exactly the same way. Uh, the newly buffed 18 barrier. So they buffed 18's barrier to be able to cancel uh, special moves out of it. So she can do barrier into like command grab and stuff like that. Now, that seems like a little thing, but since Lab Coat's barrier has the same properties. Her special moves are absolutely insane. And so if you get someone, if you get someone with barrier, let's say they they try to press a button on you and you, you barrier, right? Suddenly they just took it unscaled. Oh, sorry, that was a little bit slow. Right, completely unscaled combo for that. And this is on an L button. Imagine the stuff that you can get on the, the more laggy buttons. But you can see this punishes a 5L, right? Right? I can do that into stomp. Full unskilled EX combo. And so her special moves are super, super strong out of barrier. You can barrier your opponent's assist, right? And then cancel it. Uh, cancel it into like, um, into the lariat as well, right? But like if you, if you think they're doing like assist into like a key blast or assist into or into anything if you think they're super dashing at you or anything like that absolutely crazy that she can choose these options outside of barrier but other than that it is a standard barrier you know it eats assist it, it gives you meter for absorbing things as well uh very very strong thing to have so just not really much else to talk about that except for the cancel properties out of it thick move and we love the tifos <laughs> okay next 236s right it's a beam, but it's not just any beam. It's actually the fastest beam in the game mm -mm, at point blank 14 frames. The fastest beam in Dragon Ball Fighters. It is minus six, which means it is L punishable point blank, but you're not going to be really using this point blank anyway. From full screen, it takes it 24 frames to make it there. Uh, it's like it's 25 at absolute max range sometimes. Um, and it does jail into vanish as well. Uh, I can set this to guard first only for you guys. It does jail into vanish. 
And since it has like kind of that multi-hit effect on blocked like a normal beam, so like a SSJ Goku beam, right? It has that multi-hit effect. But the thing is, like with those beams, if you wait until the last few hits to vanish, you don't get a jail anymore. But hers is not like that. So you can wait yeah, until look, don't wait that late. <laughs> you can wait until a few hits go. And you still get the jail there, like I see. You don't like you don't want to wait until all of them are gone, of course. Right? Uh, even there, like I, I waited till the last hit hit. Yeah, just make sure you're not going too too late, but it has a lot of leniency in towards in terms of being able to visually confirm, okay, my opponent blocked the blocked the beam. Now I'm gonna vanish in and take my plus frames. Uh pretty good move. It is air okay as well. Uh, and all the all the special moves I've been talking about, except for the stomp or arrow okay. Uh like I said about the spins. Uh, the barriers, you know, all that stuff is air okay, except for stomp. You can't do stomp in the air. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine if you could do stomp in the air. I'm down. But yeah, jails in the vanish. Uh, pretty good beam. It's pretty thin in terms of the hitbox, right? It's a pretty, th it's like, it's kind of like TN uh, in, in terms of how thin the beam is. So the hitbox isn't craziest uh, vertically. But uh, yeah, a really, really good move uh, on hit. Right? And this is another thing it has that multi-hit effect on hit so it's it's much easier to confirm into a vanish on a hit as well um and so like for that reason it's very valuable on top of of course being very very fast and it also pierces uh and so it is it is akin to uh i will go this real quick let me get a recording oh i already got it oh look at me i'm ahead of the game Now, how much you guys want to bet that I messed this up on the first try? See, it hits both. You don't have the issue with uh, that you do with pseudo beams, where sometimes it'll only hit the point character, or it'll only hit the assist. It will go through the point character or the assist and make contact with the other if they are behind it. And so it is very good in that regard. Pretty, pretty valuable move to have in the arsenal for sure. Okay, next. And the last special move. 2 and 4 s Now, this one's going to look familiar to you guys. It is a 24 frame. Is a 24 frame grab exactly the same as the other Android 21? However, there's some things that are a little bit different about this one. First thing you're going to notice is... You steal health from your opponent upon contact. Uh, look, you can actually see the game trying to keep my health at a constant 95, so it, <laughs> it doesn't put it back up. Uh, I'm going to put it to no recovery. Oh, it's still. I guess training mode doesn't really like this move. <laughs> I suppose training mode doesn't, doesn't like us using this move because... Uh, it won't it doesn't seem like uh they want us to show off the healing abilities yeah it, and it seems like training mode's a little bugged uh with this move at the moment but it steals 500 health uh on on contact and and it it, it is not like uh it's not like candy beams from kid boo or majin boo or android 21 because it actually recovers full life it's not just blue life it's actually life in general and so, like, even if you don't have any blue life and you hit your opponent with this, you get back life, which is really, really important. Another thing to, to, to consider here is that the SKD advantage on this is super long. So, to give an example, 21, Majin 21, and she SKDs you on the Connoisseur cut, which these are both named the same thing. Uh, plus 34, as you can see, right? And also puts you pretty much full screen. The SKD is pretty far away. Okay. Now... Lapco, on the other hand, her 214S, right? It leaves them right next to you. And on top of that, the advantage is way higher, about 20 frames higher, 55, meaning that pretty much any point, since they're so close, you can hit them with this grab and follow up with our wonderful special moves like Stomp, right? For a full combo. Off a 24 frame command grab, the same speed as 6M, very, very strong. You can also use this in the air, right? It goes really far in the air. It has a massive horizontal reach. However, one thing to consider 
it has no invulnerability, right? So the other 21, when she does air command grab, it is invulnerable to jump attacks. As you can see, frame four, air invulnerable. This is a buff they gave to this character recently. Mm -mm. But none of the versions grounded or in the air for lab coat have invulnerability. So you don't want to be throwing it out to try to air to air people with it, but it is a very reliable combo ender since the, uh, since the SKD is so long. It will give you plenty of time to fall and follow up with stomps into assist extension if you need to. Uh, it is a pretty sick command grab to have on top of healing health. So, sick. Absolutely insane special moves from Labco 21. All right, guys. Uh, I was going to end the video, but I actually wanted to throw in her supers uh, into this video as well because there's not a ton. Uh, there's not a ton to go over. Uh, there's only a few things, so I just figured let's include it with the normals and specials in the video, and then they'll make it less parts, which means you guys are more likely to watch the other, uh, the other videos as well. So, alright, so supers. Our first to talk about our standard death ball super. This is what you're going to be using, um, you know, as your damage super, and is what her DAC is as well. Um, so write this down. Minimum damage, 784. She also has a version with, in the air, you can do 236HS uh, to switch sides. 784 min damage on both of them. Mm -mm. However, this is like Kefla Super, uh, where if she's on the ground, it does more damage. So I will show you guys a quick combo real quick. Wow, or not. <laughs> Eight twenty-seven, as you can see, on the ground, as opposed to doing it in the air. Seven eighty-four. So you want to, if you can afford to, uh, you want to try to be on the ground whenever you cash out because you do get more damage, and that can make her break. Uh, that can make her break some kills in certain situations. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, and like I said, it's also her DHC. It also has the interesting property of having set hit stun, uh, just like the the stomp that we talked about earlier, having set hit stun. This super also has set hit stun. And so you, it also has high hit stun on top of set hit stun. And so you can loop super, follow up with a stomp into another super, into another stomp, uh, and kind of loop your opponent. Uh, the most that I've been able to get, I think was three or four. Because you do get you do get pushed out when you do the uh, when you do these moves. You can't do it forever. It's not it's not an infinite combo. Whoops, sorry. I'm I'm fucking up right now. My bad. I'm trying to I'm trying to <laughs> kind of formulate my thoughts and also do the combo at the same time. And so like you can see, I get pushed out there. So um, if you start with stomp, right. And then this one will work because you're too far, right? And so that has set hit stun as well. <laughs> pretty, pretty crazy. Um, at least it feels like it has hit, it's set hit stun. I think it just might have really high hit stun because eventually I do think that things will fall out of it. But yeah, for that purpose, it is pretty crazy uh, what you can do uh, with the stomp and the <laughs> and the level one. Pretty crazy that they decided to do that. I don't know why they decided to do that, but it just is what it is, man. <laughs> it's lab coat. Potentially the last DLC we have in this game, so it is what it is. So, now that we're done talking about the ball super, you're probably wondering, when is he going to talk about this insane move, right? Which is 236HS on the ground. It is, arguably, the most overtuned move we've ever seen in Dragon Ball Fighters, Right? Why do I say that? It is a 21 frame command grab to start off. The super flash does not happen until after the command grab connects. So it's not like you can see the flash and jump it on reaction, right? Like you would be able to with like a level one, right? You see how time stops and everything, right? And then you could just get away from it. Like a Beerus level three or a Trunks level three. You could see the flash and then hold up back, right? Yeah, this one you can't because it doesn't flash until the super actually makes contact. And so it is just a command grab. It's 21 frames <laughs> startup. It's also frame four invulnerable. Full invulnerability from frame four. So it also works as a reversal. And on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, yes, there's more. Yes, there's more. You debuff your opponent by 21% damage. 
And so, we can set our bot here to hit us with a jab. Four hundred damage, right? Let's see what happens post super. Three sixteen, right? Insane. On top of that, mm -mm. now oh, very important. Before I before I go to the next thing, right? It does not stack. So if you debuff them twice, or you try to debuff them twice, it's not gonna do anything, right? Okay. It also gives twenty one lab coat. Gives lab coat damage herself on her special it doesn't buff her, her normal damage so as you can see i run up and i do a jab it's still 400 right but it does increase the damage of her special so this is 836 and then i feel some damage like jero 1008 right huge and these buffs are permanent they're permanent they do not go away after being tagged out so you can see i will debuff I will snap Frieza in, debuff him, snap the original lab coat back in, still 316, permanent. Now I don't know if it, it is permanent to the point where it still works if they get revived by Shinron or anything like that, I'm not sure what the case is, I haven't tested that yet, uh, but yeah, permanent buff on lab coat, permanent debuff on our opponent, and it does work on multiple characters at once. So you can debuff all three of their characters, and they just do less damage on everything. And that includes their scaled DHCs as well. So, for example, let's have let's actually have the computer do two two six uh, HS on us this time. So we know that our normal, normally our damage is, um, normally our damage is 784 on regular level one. I'm sorry. Uh, now I have to get her to debuff me again. My mistake. Six nineteen. Right. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Cra crazy, crazy what this what this does. It, it is uh, it's pretty insane move. Uh, it does 621 minimum damage uh, in a combo. Uh, and so like it is a low damage super, but that's a small price to pay to debuff your opponent. But if you're trying to squeak out a kill and everything, um, then you know, um, then you're not gonna be you're not gonna be worrying about the buff anyway. You're just gonna kill him. Uh, and also on top of that you can DHC out of this and it is like almost almost completely unskilled you see how much damage this will do right 3,000 damage uh, 3,000 damage on the uh, you know the regular 21's level 3 on DHC so it completely nukes your opponent if they get hit by this it is the craziest move it is the craziest move this game has ever seen it is insane just completely insane uh, crazy, crazy ass move. <laughs> bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Okay. So, the uh, next thing is our level threes. Talk about her 214 LM. Now, this leaves you, uh, this leaves you plus, uh, this leaves you plus 28. Uh, on co after after a successful level three, it also has uh, th this is thing, so you can get uh, you can get a safe jump, but you're only plus 28, so you're not getting any crazy crazy Oki uh, or anything like that. Uh, but it is still something, uh, and the minimum damage on this super is very high. Uh, it is 1861 min damage, so it is one of the higher damage level threes in the game. Um, and so it's gonna kill a lot of people uh, just straight up. And then the next one we want to talk about is their uh, 214 HS. Both of these are AO air okay, by the way. Uh, you can use both of these on the ground and in the air. Um, this one also plus 28, very similar spacing as well. Uh, I think it's actually the same exact spacing. Just like the other 21 has identical spacings on her ground and air level three, it's the same thing. Uh, this one, it does 1733 min damage. So if you're trying to kill uh, the other one is definitely better, but this one keeps the same side, um, whereas the LM will always side switch. Mm -mm. 
And so you want to keep that in mind when you're choosing what to do. <laughs> uh, they both also track uh, as well. So like, um, I don't know if it has strong tracking like this. Yeah, it does. So you can see I, I do a combo into 2H. Tracks, right? I don't know about this one. And this one does too, yeah. So both of them have hard tracking. Uh, one hits from behind, one hits from in front. So yeah, this, this is really, really good level three is to have. Um, and they both look pretty sick as well, so I, we can't really complain about that. But that's it for the supers, the specials, and the normals on 21. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder before you go on to the next video to hit the like button, leave a comment, and also subscribe to the channel for more content. The next, uh, the next video is going to be her combos and her block strings, uh, where we're going to talk about next. So I'll see you guys in the next video.